Today we're taking a look at the Dallas Mavericks vs. New York Knicks match, which is happening on Friday, April 2, 2021 at 7.35 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The Dallas Mavericks will travel to Madison Square Garden on Friday night to take on the New York Knicks in an interconference matchup. This will be the first of two matchups between these two teams. The Dallas Mavericks are 25 to 21 and are seventh in the Western Conference. They are riding a two-game winning streak after defeating the Boston Celtics on the road 113 to 108 on Wednesday. The New York Knicks are 24 to 24 and are sixth in the Eastern Conference. They are on a two-game losing streak after losing in Minnesota on Wednesday night against the Timberwolves 102-101. The Mavericks' offensive efficiency is to be hold, while the Knicks' defensive intensity greatly frustrates opponents. Both are in the playoffs as of right now, and it is not unthinkable for New York to host a playoff series this postseason. Dallas is playing very well since the All-Star break, but offenses generally don't thrive against the Knicks. Let's find the betting value. The Dallas Mavericks have been relying on point guard Luka Doncic to carry the offensive load this season. He is averaging 28.7 points, 8.1 rebounds, 8.9 assists, 0.6 blocks, and 1 steal in 35 minutes on the court. He is shooting the ball at a decent clip as he is 48.8% from the floor, 37.7% from beyond the arc, and 74.4% from the charity strike. In his last game against the Celtics, Doncic played 35 minutes and finished with 36 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 8 turnovers. If he can figure out a way to cut down the turnovers, it will be a closer game. The Dallas Mavericks look for a win after winning 10 of their last 15 games. The Dallas Mavericks are averaging 112.2 points on 47.1% shooting and allowing 110.9 points on 45.9% shooting. Luka Doncic is averaging 28.7 points and 8.9 assists while Kristaps Porzingis is averaging 20.4 points and 8.9 rebounds. Tim Hardaway Jr. is the third double-digit scorer and Jalen Brunson is grabbing 3.5 rebounds. The Dallas Mavericks are shooting 36.2% from beyond the arc and 78% from the free throw line. The Dallas Mavericks are allowing 36.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.2 rebounds per game. The Dallas Mavericks are an average defensive team this season as they are giving up 110.9 points per game, which is 11th in the NBA. In their last game against the Boston Celtics, they allowed 108 points on 39 of 94 from the field, 11 of 47 from deep, and 23 free throw attempts. If the Mavericks can figure out how to defend without fouling in this game, it will be in a better spot. After beating the Wizards twice in Bucks, the Knicks have lost two straight to the Heat and Timberwolves, also going down against the spread. New York has gone under the final game total in each of its last four games. It was presumed by many that the Knicks would start to fade as the season progresses, and while they're 5-6 since the All-Star break, their underlying numbers indicate they're staying competitive. New York has continued its stellar defense since the break, with a 107.4 defensive rating that ranks fourth in the NBA during that time. A struggling offense has the Knicks' net rating at minus 0.2 in 11 seconds half games, according to NBA Advanced Stats, during which New York is 5-6. The New York Knicks look for a win after splitting their last 14 games. The New York Knicks are averaging 104.8 points on 45.1% shooting and allowing 104.5 points on 44.2% shooting. Julius Randle is averaging 23.1 points and 5.8 assists while RJ Barrett is averaging 17.5 points and 6.1 rebounds. Alec Burks is the third double-digit scorer and Derrick Rose is dishing 4.3 assists. The New York Knicks are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 76.3% from the free throw line. 
the New York Knicks are allowing 33.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.9 rebounds per game. A big part of the Knicks' offensive issues can be attributed to Julius Randle's recent inefficiency. New York's all-star forward has played in 10 of 11 games since the break and is shooting just 42.7% from the field compared to 48.3% in his first 37 appearances, according to Basketball Reference. His offensive rating since the break is 105, compared to 114 before. The Knicks are 18-30 to, to the under this season although that rate is more level at home at 10 to 13. New York knows how it's going to win games under Tom Thibodeau, and it entered play on Thursday night just one game behind the Charlotte Hornets for the number four seed in the Eastern Conference. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. In seven of these teams' last eight combined games, their totals have gone to the under. Part of that has to do with Sportsbook's assumption that a better Mavericks offense automatically means more points. Their slow pace keeps games from being very high scoring. The Dallas Mavericks are the better team here and have played the better, more consistent basketball. But the Knicks have been kind to us all season in the underdog role. Also, the Knicks compete even in their losses, as they lose by an average of just 3.1 points in the underdog role. The Knicks are 13-9-1 against the spread at home this season and the Mavericks are 12-13 against the spread, as a single-digit favorite. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Dallas minus 5. The Dallas Mavericks look for a win after winning 10 of their last 15 games. The Dallas Mavericks are averaging 112.2 points on 47.1% shooting and allowing 110.9 points on 45.9% shooting. Luka Doncic is averaging 28.7 points and 8.9 assists while Kristaps Porzingis is averaging 20.4 points and 8.9 rebounds. Tim Hardaway Jr. is the third double-digit scorer and Jalen Brunson is grabbing 3.5 rebounds. The Dallas Mavericks are shooting 36.2% from beyond the arc and 78% from the free-throw line. The Dallas Mavericks are allowing 36.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.2 rebounds per game. The New York Knicks look for a win after splitting their last 14 games. The New York Knicks are averaging 104.8 points on 45.1% shooting and allowing 104.5 points on 44.2% shooting. Julius Randle is averaging 23.1 points and 5.8 assists while RJ Barrett is averaging 17.5 points and 6.1 rebounds. Alec Burks is the third double-digit scorer and Derrick Rose is dishing 4.3 assists. The New York Knicks are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 76.3% from the free throw line. The New York Knicks are allowing 33.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.9 rebounds per game. Those matchups weren't against the Knicks, though. This is a matchup between the NBA's numbers 25 and 28 paces since the All-Star break. While Dallas is playing better offensively than any of the Knicks' recent opponents, I see value on the under here. Expect a slow pace tight affair between two teams trying to position themselves well for the playoffs. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under 213.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.